welcome to my unboxing of the Warzone LX60 XT projector from BenQ. This is not right, this is the WXGA model. The one that's actually inside here is the XGA model. This is just a sample unit. So you guys don't worry too much about what this looks like because yours will come in a nice shiny new retail package. So inside we find a couple of things. Honestly, I can't even begin to speculate what the actual accessories included with the retail one would be, but I would say probably it comes with a power cord and probably it comes with some kind of video cable. It will also come with a remote that includes a laser pointer. So you can see it's covered with warnings about lasers and like stuff. Achtung! Um, haha, laser. Oh. oh, the batteries are not installed. Too bad. Okay, so that includes a bunch of functionality, but you're actually not limited to using this remote. You can even use with the ah, dongle that you can buy separately, just I think it's like 60 bucks or something like that. You can use your iPhone to control everything about it and you can even stream images, slideshows, or PowerPoint presentations and you can just like flip between the slides like this and stream them directly to the wireless dongle, which is kind of cool. It actually works with a bunch of NQ projectors. If you check out their app on the iTunes store, app store, whatever it's called, whatever it is, it's not called Google Play because it's only for Apple. But uh, if you check out the app, it actually has a list of which projectors are compatible with the dongle and the app. Now this is a very cool projector. Will you buy one? The answer is probably not. Will this technology trickle down? And will you eventually be able to buy something like it? The answer is quite possibly. Because this is more of a corporate skew, more for pre presentation halls, schools, uh, stuff like that, and less about the actual individual end user here. So this is a solid state laser projector which has a whole whack load of different advantages. Um, slick standing in front of my notes. Uh, in including the fact that the I mean, I can't even call it bulb replacement estimated time. So it es they estimate, BenQ estimates that you'll get 10,000 hours of use out of this before you will actually have to replace the DLP wheel. Now, it also has an eight segment wheel. Besides the laser backlighting, it has an eight segment wheel, which compared to most projectors in this kind of a product class right now, are using a six segment wheel, which gives you better color reproduction, as well as absolutely wicked 80,000 to one contrast ratio. And we're not talking like, funky dynamic contrast ratios. We're talking actual contrast ratio. We had this fired up before I put it back in the box and I gotta say guys, for a DLP projector, it absolutely blew me away in terms of the vividness of the colors. Like even looking at the Windows desktop, the Windows logo in the middle, the green and the yellow are distinctly different and they really pop even on this like crappy off-white wall. So that was very cool about it. Um, no moving parts, other than the fan. Why do you have no moving parts written down there? Okay, well forget that. It's a short throw projector, which means that from here to the wall, we were able to project an image that was about from here to about here and here to here. So big old, huge image. The practical limits of this in a dark environment are about 300 inches, but I'd say probably closer to 100 to 150 inches if you're in a more brightly lit kind of environment. What else are we missing here? I want to make sure we don't miss anything, right? It's available on XGA or WXGA and aha, it's green. So no mercury. Since there is no traditional projector lamp, there's no mercury inside the projector lamp. So that means that if it's, you know, thrown away or disposed of in any particular way, you don't have to worry about the environmental impact of that beyond just the fact that it's, you know, plastic and you shouldn't throw away electronics more than you absolutely have to. Finally, three-year parts and labor warranty and near instant on and off. So it takes about three seconds to turn off and about six seconds to turn back on immediately, which is very cool compared to some of the uber slow traditionally backlit projectors that we've seen in the past. Oh, look at that. Engineering sample. Sweet. Also has a 20 watt speaker built in. And let's go ahead and take a bit of a product tour here. So here's the focus wheel. It's got big old grippy neural shenanigans going on here. All right, it's got like kind of a nice blue thing going on. You can actually mount this any way you want. It can even mount in portrait mode and it is compatible with that. So you can, you know, I mean, I can't imagine. You know what? Leave a comment, guys. Leave a comment if you can think of a reason to mount a projector in portrait mode and have it be like, like a portrait image 
like right side up. I, I cannot, cannot imagine why you'd want that. You can actually see the internals a little bit here. You can see some electronics and whatnots and hoo-hahs. And here you can see some heat sinks and fans and cooling stuff going on. It doesn't get super loud, but I mean, it's not silent or anything either. In terms of inputs, we've got a pretty wide variety. We've got audio in one and two, audio out as well as a microphone jack. We've got our traditional um, old analog stuff. So you got your composite, you got your S video, you got your audio right and left. You've got up to two VGAs in, a monitor out, HDMI in, two USB ports. So that's where you'll plug in that wireless dongle, which actually looks a little something like this. You can also read uh, certain things directly off of it. If you check out my GP2 video, I show you some of the cool things you can do with BenQ's built-in software. Also have a serial port, mini USB-B, LAN, and finally a 12 volt trigger. Finally, again, the power, and finally, once more, the Kensington lock. I think that pretty much covers it. So stay tuned, guys, because I'm going to be doing a proper NCIX Tech Tips on this particular model. So this is just going to be an unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. And also don't forget to subscribe to my other channel, NCIXCOM.